So there are some scripts that have been written for PixInsight that allows you to automatically do star reduction on your images. The guy that wrote those, Bill Blanchin, I have gotten permission from him to port his formulas over into a script for Cyril. So they do the same exact thing in Cyril that they do in PixInsight. So again, with his permission, that's what this video is about. I've taken one of his three scripts and I'm still working on the other two to see if possibly we can get them going. There's some missing functionality within Cyril's implementation of what's called pixel math that are making things a little bit more difficult. But the one I was able to port over without any issues works very well. And it'll take your existing stretched complete image. And if you decided you wanted to shrink those stars down, you can shrink the stars down with them. Uh, the script in part uses Starnet, which is the new implementation in Serial's version 1.2.0 that's currently in beta 2, so you need to at least be running 1.2.0. Starnet also needs to be installed and configured properly in Serial for this to work. And this actually works a lot better. I mean, you can we can shrink the stars down using the star recomposition tool that we've gotten with the new versions of Serial, right? And that, that gives really good results but it is a star mask, meaning that background is still in there. With pixel math, it's just the stars. We're just grabbing the stars and reducing them and placing them back on the starless image. So it's it's a lot better result. It's a lot better way of doing this. So shout out to Bill for giving me permission to use his formula for this script. And let's get started. My name is Rich and you're watching Deep Space Astro. Okay, we'll start with where you can grab the script from. I have the link in the description of this video. It takes you to my OneDrive account. Just click the download button. Once it's finished, go into the folder where you downloaded it, right click, cut, and then you're gonna put it in your scripts directory for Cyril. I just use the program files, Cyril and scripts. Right click and paste. You can close these two windows down now, and then we're gonna run Cyril. I've already stacked and did a little bit of processing on my Rosette Nebula, so I'm just going to open up my stack. I'm in linear, so th this script is intended to be used after you stretched your image. I want to talk about it a little bit first before I actually show you guys how the script works and take a step back for a minute. Since Cyril has implemented Starnet for us, if you've ever used Starnet prior to that, you know that in order for it to work, it requires that your image a 16-bit TIFF file. So when Serial implemented this, they decided to do all the conversions for us, which is fantastic, right? So if you run Starnet and it's a FIT file, their implementation will first take that FIT file and convert it to a 16-bit TIFF file, push it through Starnet, once Starnet is done with it, Serial will then take those files and convert them into a 32-bit fit format and they need to be 32-bit fit format to be able to take advantage of some of the features that are within Cyril, including but not limited to pixel math, which is what my script is using for the star reduction. So what does that mean? You can pretty much use this script with any image type. I say pretty much because I haven't tested them all. It worked with a fit file, obviously. It worked with a 16-bit fit file. It worked with a 16-bit TIFF file, and I even opened up a JPEG and ran the script against it, and it worked for that as well. So, it, you know, I don't recommend that you use it with a JPEG only because it's compressed, right? Even a TIFF file is slightly compressed as well. The, your best bet is to run it with a FIT file. Uh, j anything that's compressed, you may get weird artifacts or what have you. I don't expect fantastic results out of it, but just want to let you know since... I'm using the Starnet command in this script. It's doing all that conversion for us, so we don't need to worry about file formats. So with that being said, um, I mean, there's not much to this. Open up the image that you've already processed and you've decided that you wanted to shrink the stars down on. Come up to your scripts menu and hit DSA star reduction MTF. It's going to close the window, which is unfortunate, but I have no control over that. That's Starnet. It closes whichever image was currently open. And then you can just watch it down the bottom. You can see it's running Starnet right now. Our little light right here is green. It's telling you it's processing line 21. So when it's finished, this green will turn red and we'll have our resulting image with, with the reduced stars in it displayed to us automatically. Now I'll show you how you can go back and forth between the, the original image and the new image with the star reduction applied. Okay, script is completed and there's our final image. The script saves it off as reduced stars underscore final dot fit. 
And like I said, it closed the original. You know, Serial doesn't have the capability of opening multiple windows like Pixinsight Sight does. So it makes it a little bit difficult to be able to, to watch things change in real time. But what you can do is if you come back over to your open button and open the original file that you started with, the original stack, there's our original. And then if I hit open again and open up our final that the script opened for us initially, there's the change. But now if you come next to the open button, there's a recent file button here. So if I go right now, we're on the, the final image. This is after the script. I can easily, easily go back and forth. So I can go back to the original. And then with another click, I can go back to what the script did for us. If you decide that you still want these to be even smaller, there's two things you can do. The first one is just run the script a second time. Now you will have to sit through the whole Starnet process again, unfortunately. There is no way in, in Serial's scripting engine that allows me to check to see if that Starless file already exists. So it's just running through the entire script and creating and running Starnet again and creating the Starless file again. Okay, second pass is done. That one's pretty obvious how much it reduced the stars. But again, we can come to the recent files again and we can go back to our original and then click back on to our final again. So the second way you can do this, because obviously running it a second time is doubling the amount of reduction that it did the first time. If you find that this is too much, then instead of running it a second time, you can open up the script file and make two changes. If you look at this line right here that starts with PM, this is the pixel math right here. And there's a comment in here as well, the same that Bill did in his for Pixinsight. site. So you're, you always know where to make your changes. If you want it to go less, you could change this 0.2 to 0.1, 0.15, whatever you want to play with and, and see what kind of an effect it has on it. Just make sure that you change it in both places, right? So we have one here that needs to be changed and one here that needs to be changed as well. And they should stay the same. Save it and then you can go back and open up your original and simply run the script again. I'm not gonna run through it again, but that's all you need to do. So I just wanted to go over one more thing before we wrap it up. And I just wanna show you the files that the script actually creates. So this is my original stack. The first thing that the script does is create a file called star reduction, which is just an exact copy of my stack. So the first thing to point out, because it's doing that, it does not modify your stack at all. So if you don't like the results at all and you want to roll back, all you got to do is open this file back up and everything's the same as it was before you ran the script. During the Starnet process, Starnet itself creates the starless image for us. I told the script not to have Starnet create a star mask, so you won't see a star mask for this. And then once it runs through the pixel math, you end up with your reduced stars underscore final. So three additional files. When it's done, you can delete these last two if you like. Like I said, this is your original, and then this is the final with the reduced stars in it. So there you have it, star reduction in Cyril. I hope some of you found it useful. And there must have been quite a few of you that have been asking Cyril for this because they even have it on their FAQs on their webpage saying that they weren't going to be doing that. So as always, thanks for everybody's time. I appreciate you watching. Give the video a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think, any other ideas that you may have. I'll see you on the next video and clear skies.